consider the reaction. N2 plus 3H2 yields 2NH3. What is the theoretical yield of NH3 from a mixture of 2.00 mole N2 and 3.00 mole H2? A. 0 0.500 mole B. 1.00 mole C. 2.00 mole or D. 4.00 mole In this problem, we're given the amounts of two reactants, but we're not told how much of either one is actually consumed in the reaction. In general, as the reaction progresses, one of the reactants will run out first. The amount of product produced by the time one reactant is used up is called the theoretical yield. The theoretical yield is the maximum amount of product that we can get if the reaction were to occur. Because once one of the reactants is completely consumed, we won't be able to generate any more product. The general strategy for solving this type of problem is to calculate the product yield assuming each reactant is completely used up. The lower yield is the theoretical yield, and the higher yield is impossible. So let's calculate how much product we get if 3.00 moles of H2 are consumed. By now you should know how to do this calculation. We start with 3.00 mole H2. Then multiply it by a conversion factor based on the coefficients in the balanced equation. The coefficient of ammonia is 2. And the coefficient of hydrogen is 3. We find that the amount of ammonia produced from 3.00 moles of H2 is 2.00 moles. Similarly, we can calculate the amount of ammonia that would be produced from 2.00 moles of nitrogen. 2.00 moles of nitrogen times a conversion factor based on the coefficients in the balanced equation the coefficient of ammonia is 2. The coefficient of nitrogen is 1. We find that the amount of ammonia produced from 2.00 moles of N2 is 4.00 moles. The lower of the two yields is 2.00 moles. The correct answer is C. The theoretical yield of ammonia is 2.00 moles. By the time we get this much ammonia, the hydrogen is completely used up. If the hydrogen is completely used up, then we can't get any more. We say that, in this case, hydrogen is a limiting reactant. It sets a limit on the amount of product that we can get. 